So the CISO with me, then we'll be talking about the crime strike challenges to me. So Anuj, how was Starling? You were responsible for the resolution. How much did it impact us? Uh, it did impact it. Uh, it was about 5 to 7 percent of our systems that were infected. Uh, but again, we because of the prioritization that we did, we were able to move out of it very quickly uh, compared to what it might have impacted. And it impacted at the Azure, AWS, uh, data center, did it impact all? Uh, it was system agnostic. Uh, there was no specific cloud service providers or uh, uh, systems that were spared. Uh, everything was impacted and our data center as well as cloud service provider both were why does CrowdStrike have such a kind of access to the admin rights at the server level to be able to create a blue screen for our applications? Uh, so this is an inherent problem that is real with the technology. CrowdStrike is a security service provider, right? Being an antivirus, you have to give admin privileges to ensure that it protects you properly. And when that trust is being utilized or by mistake is being utilized in a wrong way, it can use the impact that is made. Uh, another question. Did we take the right decision to move to a Linux-based system on majority of our applications two years back? Did it save us quite a bit uh, from the hassle? It saved us a lot. Uh, the reason why we are talking right now and I'm not onto the system is the main reason why we moved to Linux. Uh, that, that was one of the best things that we did. Uh, and it is not just about moving to Linux. It is about the modernization approach that we took uh, in the last two years, where it is completely decoupled and not impacting the system to the core, even a security component like CrowdStrike. So that's a good to know. Uh, another question uh, for you is like, uh, if uh, for a layman, why do you impact to the layman so much like I was stuck at the airport, Anderson lost his flight, yeah, if the flight got cancelled. Why did it impact us so much? Why if it was so widespread? Uh, the primary reason is the automation approach that we have taken, uh, the world has taken now, right? And the impact that CrowdStrike did was ensuring that everybody had to go back to the manual approach. If you have not prioritized your system properly, it is a chaos because in one click, everything got deployed previously, but CrowdStrike showed us that in one click, it won't get deployed. You have to go to each and every system and make the changes that are required. To implement that, people are not that equipped with the IT teams, the size of IT teams, depending on the size of the infrastructure that they have. So that triggered this chaotic situation. Did the CrowdStrike come up with the right uh, solution or guidance uh, in the right time period? Because I was getting Mails from the CrowdStrike uh, yes. kind of account manager. So did they come up with the resolutions in the right manner? They came up with the resolution. The issue technically got resolved in a couple of hours. But the exact, as I say, because it is a manual approach that you have to follow. Even if it is resolved, still you have to go to the manual approach, get the systems up and running once and then their approach can be implemented. So because of that, it last question and uh, you don't want to answer you can avoid that is so this was a microsoft problem or a pure cloud strike problem or a cloud strike problem in a microsoft environment uh we so microsoft has a legacy kernel uh implemented right uh we have seen linux and mac users who are not impacted so the architecture that microsoft has supported from years this Architectures came to the board now. Previously, it was with the IT team. They knew that these are the problems, but with this incident, it has came as a board discussion. So, okay. that that change you will see in the couple of months where either Microsoft has to act on these type of things or the process for the third parties needs to be extremely strong. Thank you so much. Thanks for this quick response. Hope people have any more questions around it. We would be more than happy to guide you, help you, and answer these questions. And if you need any support at the infra level, more than happy to support on the time.